So welcome everybody. We're glad to have you here with us. My name is Baba Ram. And this is my wife Sundari Ram. We're the founders of Deep Yoga and we come from halfway around the world from San Diego, California. And we can see so many faces out there today that come from all the continents around the world and we're so honored to be joined with you here. We're going to begin our time together by taking eight steps into yoga. So the first step into yoga is simply to close your eyes and notice that when you close your eyes you make a transition from an externalized awareness to an internal space so softly close your eyes the first step into yoga and just feel into being you in this body in this moment the second step into yoga is to find your breath and make it deep and full and slow and smooth like a river running through you like a sacred wave remembering what a gift of life it is to breathe and allow every in-breath that you take to flood you with power and every exhale to take you to a deeper place of peace so you're breathing power and peace and as you do this with your eyes closed, feel your whole body as the sacred temple of your being. More sacred than any temple or mosque or synagogue. Feel your whole body, all the outer edges, all of the inner space. And notice as you do that your body is Mother Earth and water and fire and air and space feel her right now supporting you as you sit, holding you in the palms of her hands. And you can be begin to allow your thoughts to just float by. So that all together we take the sixth step into yoga, which is to bring our consciousness into the light of our hearts. As if there were a golden candle flame right behind your breastbone, illuminating you and enlightening you. And you're now breathing into that sacred flame. Allowing yourself to take the next step into yoga, which is to just really be here, now, in this body, in this breath, in this sacred heart light of yours, in the palms of Mother Earth's hands, just be here. The eighth step into yoga is to remember that you always have been and you always will be completely connected. You always will be one with all that is. We're going to invite you to chant with us, flowing with Shiva. The words are very simple. You'll catch them as we go. And as you do, please lift your voices and join us. Flowing with Shiva, flowing with Shiva, flowing with Shiva, flowing with Shiva, Jai Jai Ma, Jai Jai Ma.
time that your in-breath comes, float your palms together in Anjali Mudra at your heart center so that your hands become a symbol of that light and life inside of you and we'll invoke our time together with three chants of Om, deep in-breath. for coming. Last summer, Swamiji was visiting in San Diego, and we mentioned how much we want to continue to cultivate our relationship and to know how we can give back. And he asked us to create Ganga Yoga. And we asked if we could create it as a fundraiser for the Ganga, for Ganga Action Parivar. He said no. What Ganga needs is more people to allow Ganga to flow into the world through you. And so Ganga Yoga is a practice of cultivating the power of the Divine Mother, the light of her compassion her healing, her soothing, her love, so that you can put yourself in those waters and become those holy waters and flow through life and into the world. Because now, if ever, now is our time. Now, the world needs you. So I invite you to bring your palms together at your heart center and to feel into your heart and to feel what's there. To know that there is light, but what else is there? What is in your heart? What does the goodness and the purity look like, feel like? What do you know to be true? And how would you like to show your heart and shine your light and be in the world for others? How can you make a difference? What makes your life matter? What do you value? asking you to do more. We're just asking you to be more in your heart and of your heart and heart directed in the world. To let your heart and the light there flow. And that's what our practice is devoted to. The Divine Ma, as she lives inside of you. Take what's in your heart and offer it up. Offer it to the divine, offer it to the source of Ganga, offer it to heaven, offer it to Shiva. Reach your hands to the sky, deep in breath. As you exhale, trace a circle of light around yourself and come back to your heart center, Anjali Mudra. Take your arms back wide and up. Reach for Ganga and let her beautiful heavenly stream flow into your heart as you bring your hands to your heart center and capture her waters there. Same thing two more times. Breathing in, you rise. Breathing out, you trace a circle of golden light around yourself to be that light in the world. Come back to your heart and bow in. Inhale, extend it wide like you've got wings and you soar to heaven. As you exhale, take that stream of grace, that river of Ganga into your heart. One more time. Breathing in with a silent Om. We're going to breathe out with a silent Shreem. Widen up, Om. Exhaling, Shreem. Take a deep breath here and energize, energize the light in your heart. And as you exhale, offer your prayers. Offer your hands forward. Offer your heart light to the world. Then bring your hands onto the mat. Come up onto all fours, onto hands and knees. And we have Crystal and we have Anandaji, who 
are demonstrating our flow. We're going to inhale and come lifting this head and your sit bones. Just take a deep breath. And as you exhale, round your back and press to child's pose. And do that again. Come back up as you breathe in. And this time an om to child's pose. And one more time again, coming up. This time, Om and Shreem. Om And one more time. Om Shreem Gange Svaha. a prayer to the Divine Mother. Let your head rest on the ground for a moment. Let yourself breathe there and feel your breath in your body. Feel yourself as if you are a prayer to Mother Earth, to Mother's love, to the life that our Mother gave, to the healing, the nourishing, the refreshment, the soothing that she gives and she gives and she gives. Allow yourself to feel your breath like her flow, divine flow flowing through you. Breathing in, as you breathe in, the mantra is Om. As you breathe out, it's Shreem, feeling that flow. So that your mind becomes the flow, so that your mind becomes the prana, so that your mind, your breath, and your body are one. facing dog, excuse me. And then simply walk your feet to the front of your mat. Bhava and I both practice Ayurveda in California, doctors of Ayurveda, so we bring Ayurveda into our practice. In the afternoon, in the heat of the day, it's time to go slow. We're going to move slowly. We don't want to overheat or overexert ourselves. If at any point it becomes too much, I invite you to come back to child's pose or just come down onto your mat and rest. Now sweep your arms wide and come up to standing, reaching your arms all the way up to the source. Reach to heaven. Let heaven really reach. Let heaven pour in. Let it be a stream into your heart. And then as you exhale, palms together, Anjali Mudra. And now take a moment to just repeat after me. Om Ma, Shri Ma, J Ma, Ganga Ma, Om Ma, Shri Ma, Shri Ma, J Ma, J Ma, Ganga Ma, Ganga Ma, Om Ma, Om Ma, Shri Ma, Shri Ma, J Ma, J Ma, Ganga Ma. Now, before we do our next movement, can you feel Ganga's love in your heart and Ganga flowing in your body with your breath? Because that's what we're here for, so let it be. Take a step to the right. Om Ma. Step to the right, circling around yourself. Shri Ma. Shri Ma. Jai Ma. Keep turning. Ganga Ma, back to the front. Two more times. Om Ma. Om Ma. Shri Ma. Shri Ma. Jai Ma. Jai Ma. Ganga Ma. Ganga Ma. To the four directions, like you're a prayer flag. Om Ma. Om Ma. Shri Ma. Shri Ma. Jai Ma. Jai Ma. Ganga Ma. Ganga Ma. Inhale your arms up, reach up to heaven. As you exhale, big circle of light around yourself, back to the heart center, bowing in. Big circle of light around yourself, reaching up to Ganga. Exhale to your heart center. Same thing two more times, inhaling up. Exhale a big circle around. And again, widen up, inhaling like you're flying. And to your heart center. Let it be a prayer to Ganga. Let her f grace flow through you.
breathing in and breathing out. Feel her love, feel her peace, feel her power. Back to the heart center. Good. Inhaling, reach high. This time as you exhale, folding forward like you are the stream, flowing all the way to Mother Earth and to her valleys. Inhale and come to flat back and reach your fingers towards Ganga behind you. Arms go back. Hold here as you exhale. Just bend your knees and bring your chest onto your thighs. If you need to see what we're doing, look up. Inhale, your arms straight forward, knees bent chest on your thighs. As you're inhaling, you're receiving. Palms face up so you're receiving the river. Exhale and bring that river to your mind and to your heart and to your whole body. Inhale your arms forward, palms face up. Let the river flow. Let the river run through you as you exhale. Bathe in her soothing flow. One more time, inhaling Om and exhaling Harim. When you finish that exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Step your left foot back so you come into a lunge. Bring your back knee onto the mat. Your back knee lowers down. And then your arms go to the sky, inhaling up. And exhale to your heart center. Now you know the Ganga Mudra. It's this. Inhaling Om. Exhaling Harim. Harim is the light. Harim is the Ma. Harim is the Devi. Harim is the Bindu. The source of all creation. Let's become one and let's flow together as one. Feeling your breath leading your movement. One more time. Om. And Harim. Inhaling up. Hands come together down the same side and onto the mat. Hands on the same side. Lift your back knee. Step back to downward facing dog. The music is Inhale. Forward. Holding in a plank. So you're in a plank. And if you'd like, you can bring your knees to the mat for a softer version. If you want to power it up, chaturanga. Deep, full breath. Let yourself feel your spine as Ganga, the river flowing from your tailbone to the top of your head as you breathe in and back down your spine as you breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. In and out. Om and Harim. And then come all the way down onto the mat. Rest your whole body and take your arms forward, palms together. Rest your arms and your hands and your head. Oh, I see some people have translations. Yes, very good. So you understand? Good. Beautiful. So as you lie on Mother Earth, let yourself feel your breath flowing. Let yourself feel your prana, your aliveness, your life force, your aliveness flowing through you. Let yourself feel the heartbeat, your heart beating in your belly. The heartbeat as the source of that great river that flows through you. Let yourself feel that. Feel Ganga flowing through, beautiful you. And let yourself say yes to that. Yes to Ganga. Yes to Ganga. Yes to love. Yes to healing. Yes to compassion. Yes to peace. And then open your hands to the sky. And on your next breath, lift everything you can and come into an exalted locust. Arms, chest, legs. Breathing in, you rise. We're going to arise for Ganga. On February 14th this year, people around the world, one billion rising. We're arising for the Divine Mother, the Divine Feminine. We're arising, arising, as Gandhi said, with our living faith, we can end violence. We can become like Ganga. We can heal the world. We can restore peace. We can restore the Divine Feminine and balance Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And when there's balance, there's healing. And we can be that. So let's inhale and arise for Ganga. Exhale, come down, hands by your rib cage into child's pose. Breathing in and out, deep and full. Like your breath.
breath is the river, open to the river. Then sweeping your arms forward and up to the sky, rise up on your knees, and exalt to do strasana, reaching up. Same thing, hands come back to the heart light. Anjali mudra, Anjali mudra, flow, up and out, with your breath, at your own pace now, you know the flow. Inhale it wide and up, and exhale it in. Ganga flows from heaven, she brings grace to our earth. Let yourself receive that grace. Ganga loves without hesitation, without reservation, without limitation. Let yourself receive that love. Let yourself be the river. Nice. Next time your hands come down the midline, bring them all the way back to the ground and fold into child's pose. Like it is a prayer, a prayer to our mother. right there in child's pose. A deep inhale. Oh. And again, deep in breath. Buzzing your brain as you do it. Oh. Press up to hands and knees so you're on all fours like a table. Deep in breath. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Good. Step your foot forward into a lunge. Right foot went for back. This time the right foot goes forward. Inhale. Take your back knee down. Inhale your arms to the sky. Reach it high. Lift your heart. Lift your heart. Exhale. Heaven's grace. Ganga into your heart. Take all the love, the light, the beauty in your heart and offer it up. Offer it to the divine. And as you exhale, draw that big circle around yourself so you're protected by that light, the light of the divine. Inhale and fly, soar, back up, and exhale it back in. Beautiful, two more times. Just with your eyes closed, feeling the joy, the bliss, Ganga flows from the Ananda. She's the nectar of immortality, the nectar of bliss. Let that nectar flow, let it flow, let it flow. Breathe that flow through your body. Next time you reach up, take hold of that stream. Bring it down the midline and all the way to the ground, to the earth. Lift your back knee, take an in-breath. On your out-breath, step forward, Uttanasana at the front of your mat, deep forward fold. As you inhale, you come to flat back. Your arms reach straight back behind you. Keeping your arms back, as you exhale, you bend your knees. Bring your chest onto your thighs. Sink your sit bones. Inhale your arms forward, palms face the sky to receive Ganga into your hands. Bring that river to your mind, your heart, your whole body. And inhale, swim in these rivers, the soma, the nectar of Anand. One more time. Oh, cream swimming. Good. And then inhale and rise, arise for Ganga. Reach it high. And then exhale it to your heart center. And take one hand on top of the other so you can feel your heartbeat holding that light within, holding that nectar, that anand, that sweet bliss, those holy healing waters within you. Feel that love. Feel yourself saying yes to Ganga. As Swamiji says, welcome home. If this is our home, if you feel that you've come home, then you know that we are family. That you are our brothers and our sisters. And this is a reunion of our family. And this time as we reunite, I'm sorry to say our mother needs our help. She needs us. She's been giving and giving and giving. And now we need to give. We need to come together for her. So let's do it again. Inhale your arms up to the sky. 
Exhale your arms wide and back. Anjali Mudra, bowing in. Widen up as you breathe in. Exhale to your heart. Two more times at your own pace. Om. And Reem. Good. And one more time. Om. Reem. Like you're really shining your heart, really spreading the light and the love to all. Wrapping your arms around the world, wrapping your compassion around the world. Inhaling, reaching up for Ganga as you exhale, flowing forward, offering Ganga to the whole earth, the whole wide world. Inhaling to flat back. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhaling, flat back, arms go back behind you. Exhaling, bending your knees chest onto your thighs. Inhale your arms forward, receive the grace. Exhale, bring it in. Two more times in silence, just feeling it. Good. And on your next exhale, bring your hands to the mat and step your left foot back. Inhale your arms to the sky. Reach high. You can have your back knee on the ground, or your back knee could be lifted. You're going to take Ganga, bring her to your heart. Inhale it up. Exhale, open. Wrap your arms, your heart around the world. And the same thing, widen up. And back. Inhaling. Feeling your power, feeling your grace, feeling your love. A little bit quicker. And this time, hands come together on the mat. Fold forward now, holding here. Hands on the same side, inside of your front foot. Hands together, bow your head, bowing in, bowing in. The Divine Mother is Kali, chops off our head. She takes away our ego. And when she chops her head, all that is left is our heart. And that's a good thing. We want to come into the heart. So offer your head, let Kali chop it off. Let the Divine Mother take it. Let the Divine Mother bring you back into her heart. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. And then press up. Lift your back knee. Take an inhale. Step back to Downward Facing Dog. Forward to plank. Deep and full. Holding there. Your knees can come down or your knees are elevated. Deep and full breath to feel Ganga in your spine. The power of her prana, the power of her grace, the power of heaven flowing through you, rising from your tailbone to the top of your head, flowing to the ocean. And then exhale yourself all the way down, bring in your belly, heart, mind onto the earth, extending your arms forward so you come into pranam. Pranam's a prayer, a prayer to the mother, a prayer. What is it that you want to tell her? What is it that you want to tell her? What is it that you want her to know? Lift, arms to the sky, legs to the sky, heart center lifts, palms face up. Imagine in your hands you receive Ganga. Receiving Ganga, let her flow through your body, let her wash you clean, let her purify you, let her holy waters wash through you, let her wash away obstacles, pain, limitations. Just give it to Ganga, give it up, let it go. Swamiji says, let go to Ganga, let it go. Let it go. Give it to Ganga. One more inhale. Child's pose. <sighs> Coming into child's pose.
and then inhale your arms to the sky, reaching up. So you're on your knees, reaching high. Exhale, pull that river into your heart center. Let your heart be like an ocean that contains the river. Inhale and offer your heart, your love, your service. And then exhale and offer it to the whole wide world, to everyone. Come back to your heart and bow in. Inhale like you have wings and you can soar. Let's fly to heaven. And then bring the river into the ocean of your heart. Two more times. Om. Prayim. Om. to child's pose, folding in, bowing in. Deep, full breath. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there Please breathe yourself back to hands and knees, rising, and press into downward facing dog. And then step your left foot forward. Either the knee comes down or it stays lifted. Inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, heart center. Trust that light, inhale it up, let the river pour. Exhale your arms wide, let a river run through. Let a river flow, let's be Ganga, let's be the Ganga we seek in the world. Inhaling up. Ah. Om. And dream. One more. And dream. Inhale it up, take hold of the river, bring it down through your whole body, hands together, same side, on the ground by your front foot, bowing your head, bowing into Ganga, offering your head, offering your ego, offering your suffering, offering that which gets in the way. The sages say, the quickest way to happiness is through service. Not too long ago, I saw a woman in my practice in my office, a client, cry as she told me the story of her child, six years old, who has leukemia. I saw this one little tear break from the banks of her own eye and run like a river down her face, and I wondered if that's Ganga. If Ganga is really God's tear, tears of compassion for humanity. And maybe we could become that same compassion and feel in our heart the suffering and see what we can do to take it away from the world and see if our happiness lies there. At least certainly our purpose does. And our life will matter, really matter. And at the end of our lives, when you pass, people will say, there lies one whose life mattered, who gave so much, who meant so much. Inhaling, lift up. Exhale, step your, step your back foot forward. 
come into a forward fold. Inhale, flat back, arms go back. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, your arms forward. Exhale, let the river run through. Two more times, let yourself be the river, swimming, floating, surrendering. Ganga, Jema. And then inhale and bounce up. Rising, arise for Ganda. Ganga. Exhale, bring Ganga to your heart. Palms to your heart center. And again, please repeat after me. Om Ma. Shri Ma. Shri Ma. Jai Ma. Jai Ma. Ganga Ma. Ganga Ma. So when we circle, when we make that circle, we're circling the world. It's a practice of honoring. We're rotating around the inner spanda. We're spiraling back up to heaven. We send our love from the mother to all four directions. Wherever she is, wherever life is, she is. And we're saying, I love you. I'm here for you. From this day forward, I will serve you. So let's begin stepping to the right. Om Ma. Jay Shri Ma. Shri Ma. Jay Ma. Jay Ma. Ganga Ma. With Om Ma. Shri Ma. Jay Ma. Ganga Ma. Om Ma. Shri Ma. Jay Ma. Ganga Ma. And now step your feet apart. And you're facing the east, and Ganga's behind you. So we're going to imagine we're going to face the beginning and let the river flow through you to the river as she is behind you. Okay? So your feet are wide, your toes turn out, hands at your heart center. And you can move a little bit to the music if you like. Good. Inhale, arms go up. And wide as you exhale. Yes. Widen up, breathing in. And back to your heart. And then let's become a river, arms wide. Arms wide. Becoming a river, moving your shoulders, moving your hands and your fingers, and feeling a river running through you. And your hips can move, and the whole thing can move. You're a river. What kind of a river are you? Good. I am. And then take your whole self and bring it to your heart. Aham. Brahmasmi. I and the divine are one. And then we're a river. On February 14th, when we all arose, one billion rising, rising for our sisters and our daughters that they may have a world that's safe, where they can ride a bus and they can go to school everywhere so that they can grow up and contribute and be wives and be mothers and doctors and teachers to give their love to the world. When one billion arose, they did a beautiful dance in Delhi at a girls' school, and they went something like this. See if you can do it with me. dance that we do with love. Beautiful. The dance of a love. The dance that says yes. Ganga, I arise for you. I arise for the Divine Mother, the Divine Feminine. 
I arise in order to restore balance to the world so that healing may occur. Healing may spontaneously occur everywhere. I don't know what I can do to solve all the world's problems, but I know that I can love. I know that I can open my heart. I know that I can serve every day. I know that every day I can smile and make someone feel better just because I showed that I'm here and available and present. So when we hear the Aham Brahmasmi, we're going to gather to the heart of love. And then when it's river, we're going to come back to the river. Okay? So we have a few different parts to this song. River, let yourself be loosey and juicy. Let yourself feel it, so close your eyes. Let a river run through. Let yourself be free. I am. Gather yourself up. Hold it at your heart. And now we're dancing. Let a river run Now you can do whatever you want. Just have fun. Feeling that river in your body. Feeling your breath. Feeling your ananda and your soma and your love. your mat and roll onto your back please hugging your knees to your chest and rocking side to side Extend your right leg down onto the mat, holding your left knee in. And relax your left arm and come into a twist. So you're coming into a twist. Please come into the same twist on the other side, breathing yourself into it, feeling your breath as if you're flowing with Shiva. your knees to your chest again. <coughs> Lift your forehead to your knees and give yourself a hug. Say to yourself, I love you. Gosh, this body carried you all the way here. So you might even say thank you. I love you, body. I'm grateful. Take a deep inhale. Exhale to Shavasana. Relaxing your whole body into Shavasana. 
Allow yourself to feel that you're floating on Ganga. Floating. As if the river flows also from your feet to the top of your head. The river flowing you to the ocean. Allow yourself to surrender to the flow, to the divine flow, as if you are that river sparkling with light, full of love.
and the peace of Shiva, the power and the peace of consciousness that is the Divine Mother, the Devi, Ganga, the power that you have to heal, transform, and uplift. The peace that exists there within you and that you carry from Ganga forward into the world. Seal that in. Know that that's there. Imagine the light of that peace. And then inhale your arms up overhead. Give yourself a nice stretch. Stretching your toes and your fingers and giving yourself a good wiggle and a shake. Exhale it all out. And then bend your knees and roll over to your right side. And I'm going to ask our helpers to help you press up and very quickly clear the white area so we can all get into a circle. So move all the mats, all the stuff off the white and very quickly come into a circle in the, on that white blankety area. circle. We're going to make a healing circle. So let's come. Come together. Sit close. Those of you with your mats in front, you can leave them. Let's just clear the white space. And then sit in a circle, big circle. Those of you who need some healing, those of you who need some healing, so the circle is the outside. If you're in the middle, it's because you need healing. And if you need healing, lie down on your back in the middle of the circle. And then let's tighten up the circle so there's no holes in the circle. We need the banks to be strong. We need the banks of this river to be tight. So helpers, can you close the holes and tighten up? Everyone come in a little closer. Move towards the center. Close enough that your knees touch. Anyone who needs healing, come into the center. And those of you who are the banks of our river, take your hands and reach to the heart center of your neighbor, holding the back of their heart. So your arms are stretched out. Ed, can you see what I'm doing? Will you show them? And your hands go to the heart center behind. And if you like, you can sway a little. And then you please will close your eyes and sing with us, offering yourself to Ganga, becoming the river. Let a river run through. Let a river run through. Let a river run through you. So the words are easy. Let a river. Let a river run through. Run through. Let, Let a, a river, river run, run through. through. Let a river run, run through. through. Aham, 
Brahmasmi Let a river run through Let a river run through Let a river run through you Let a river run through Let a river run through Oh, let a river run through your heart center. And to close for the eight arms of the Divine Mother and the eightfold nature of Ganga. We'll close with eight rounds of ohms, making our ohms like a wave, and just feeling the wave of sound flowing through you. Deep breath in. and om rolling all over us like a maganga oh.